All right, I want to share with you guys a fantastic piece that showed up today in the shop. Actually, this thing actually came in already a couple months ago, but we couldn't agree on a price back then. And today he came in and he said, let's do it. So um, I believe this is either late 1800s or right around turn of a century, maybe early 1900s. Humphreys Remedies, trademark, the mild power of, I can't even say that, Sabides? I don't know how you say that, Nick. Which one? Subdues. Subdues? Yep. Okay. Now, not only that this is a cool piece just because what it is, there's a little latch here. It opens up and everything is listed here up front. One all the way to number 77 here. And let's say this is 25 cents a piece. And then you're looking for number five, let's say, or number four, diarrhea for children or adults. <laughs> and you pull number four out, you get your thing out, you give it to the customer. But here's the most interesting part about this unit. So it's double-sided, but when I turn this around, can you guys see what's happening here? These are bullet holes. So I got a feeling either this stood on a counter or in a window and somehow it got shot up either in a store or from outside the store, maybe through the window. And the reason I say this, I'm kind of speculating. Me and Nick have been kind of trying to puzzle and um, put this puzzle together to figure out how it might have happened. Uh, because some of these bullets, as they're penetrating these, we're not seeing anything happening on this side. Although there's two spots right here on this piece of wood that, cover, that holds the front, little marks. They're not really aligning with anything and there's no holes going through any of these little uh, cubby hole shelves here. So I don't think these have anything to do with it. But for example, if I take number 19 and there's a hole right there in the center actually kind of towards the bottom and there's a little hole on the back of this. So maybe this was a very small caliber or maybe this was very not heavy duty lead bullet that kind of disintegrated, right? Yeah. That's what we we're thinking. Deform an impact and didn't penetrate any farther. Um, there's another area that actually I think it's yeah, it's right there that you could tell that the bullet went in and it hit the edge of the actual shelf. And you can see the indentation there. Pretty cool piece. Um, I never seen anything like that. We probably never gonna find out what really happened. Now on this side of this frame, there's four screws holding this frame to hold this display uh, piece in place. When I turn this around, that's not the case on this side. No screws. This is put in from this side and then it has a backing on it. Very equal cool piece. How much I'm gonna be asking for it? I really honestly don't know. There's, uh, there's really only one that we found online with Nick and somebody's asking kind of crazy money for it. I think like $1,500, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. There's a lot of people selling actually just the signs by themselves from like 50 bucks to 150 bucks, depending on a condition. Now the front here, it's in pretty decent shape. The back, obviously we can tell that it's super rough. It must have been sitting either in a window and it's getting a lot of exposure. Sun is beating on it because it's definitely now rusty and all that paint is peeling, but still a very, very cool piece. I like stuff like this. So yeah, beautiful piece of history here for sure.
a pretty top glass, but you just I never know. know, you know? I got a roller tiller. What brand? Yeah, it's, a I don't know, it's in my car. Okay, we'll, bring it? we'll check it out. Yeah, bring it in. Just right there is fine. I'll check it out in a second. This is not gonna kill me or anything. No, right, no, it right. works. I just, I just connected it. Because the none of the batteries have any juice, yeah, so it I does. can't test them. Yeah, it does. Well, when I press on a battery, it's yeah. blinking empty, and that one, that one's got a little bit of juice. So let's put that one on. This will light up even if you have. But something. it still shoots. I tried it. Oh. Should shoot right now. Cause that wasn't on. No. Then the light. Yeah. I shot it yesterday. But there you go. Single nail. All right. Yeah. Let's see. That one did. So. Yeah, this one is completely dead. Yeah, I was gonna do a whole package. Well, I get it, I get it. I still need to test it. You yeah, know what I no, mean? I got you. So I'll make sure they take charge too. Yep, it's right here. Charging. Solid red, yep. Let me get in. Solid red. Yep, okay. For this one, do you have that little tool that goes up here to take yeah, this off? Yeah, I gotta go get it. I have it. Because yeah. it's very hard to sell them without it, you know? Yeah, I have them. Just... Uh, give me just one moment. Uh, may, actually, may I ask who's calling? It works. You gotta push that up, yeah. Is that a backflow? Backflow. Yeah, just take a date from them, what date they're planning to come. Okay, here's with the customer. Um, do you have push a, that. a date? Push that. I, am, I am, I am. Okay. Be careful. I deal with tools all the time. Yeah, I don't want anybody to get hurt. You know what no, I mean? I got you. Okay. All so right, and then you one? got this baby, huh? Yep, no. Nope. Yep. Take it. Like it's pretty decent shape. Like it's brand new. I, I used it only one time. Well, then it's not brand new. Well, you know. You know what I mean, but like, you know, it's got yeah. stuff in it, so. I just tried it once <laughs> to see how it worked. I wasn't happy with it. I no? No. I mean, it works, but I need something. I need The little guys are, don't have a lot of power. You know That's what I what mean? I'm you get a few bigger rocks. And I bought a big one. That's why I, I, I have an extra one. So. Yeah. Yeah, new ones are like 250 bucks just for the gun, you know? Yeah. That's why he offered me 100 for it. Well. For a used one, I don't think I can buy a used one for a hundred. So I don't know how he offered you a hundred for it. I mean, what do you want to get out of all three of them here? You know, the the Milwaukee, the Dewalt, and that little two bills, motor possible. Two bills, huh? Yeah. They did get an extra battery too. They're forty-five bucks a battery. I know, but they look like they went through hell. Well, people dropped them when I was up on ladders, you know, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they work. So. I mean, I know we do a lot of business. I don't think I can do 200 bucks on this. Buck 75. 180. So that was the one forty-five. Just that stupid roller tiller. Yeah, but you know, I'm gonna get a hundred bucks out of. You know what I mean? Like, there's gotta be money to be made here. So I, I'm gonna stick with one seventy-five, man. All right. So that's fine. All right. I do need your ID so I can write you up. Because you gotta take to consideration. Yeah. You know. I mean. Yeah, the gun maybe is okay, but the rest of the stuff, and then yeah. you're not giving me yeah. this tool. You I think you can bring that? Yeah, I told you I would. That would be great. So give me five bucks more. Gonna be... That's what they would cost you to get one. What country are you from? I'm Polish. Polish. I'm Romanian. 
so... Yeah, I was watching the goddamn war. That's what I was saying. Poor Ukrainians are... Fucking everybody, man. That fucking Russian guy. You know? Somebody needs to take care of Putin. Yeah, somebody needs to put a bullet in him. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they, they already got him. His country's gonna kill him. I'm telling you. They're almost, they're at 30% right now. Well, that's, that's what the idea is to get, yeah. you know, yeah. his own people yeah. get pissed off, you know? Yeah. And they're, they're going to do it. They're literally going to do it. He, he better be hiding right now. Oh, I don't know. I, they said that, that he has an illness or something. <laughs> well. And he doesn't care if he dies. And now the billionaires are getting hurt because all his billionaire friends that have put money towards it, all their accounts are frozen. So, which is awesome because that... Maybe the billionaires can whack them. That's what go. I'm thinking they're gonna do. Because they can't have access to all this fucking money. All right, man, if you uh, yeah, just I'll remember, bring, bring me that tool because it does make a difference. Guys, they pick it up. Hey, where's the wrench, you know? Yeah, so, I'll bring it to you. And if you happen to find a handle, that would be nice too. I have that too. So have next time, them. bring me Shit, yeah, but you don't give me all the money, you know. So hey, I, I gotta part. make money. You know how this shit I, works. I know. Uh -huh. If I find it, I'll bring it to you. All right, man. All right. Every time, everything is brand new. This looks brand new to you, Nick? No. <laughs> brand new. <laughs> I've never even opened it. And I don't know if it's ever been used. You can tell it's even got the dust on it still. <laughs> I don't know. Buffalo nickels. Okay. It's pretty cool because they they uh, put them inside these yeah. kind of plaques with the stamps. And does that mean anything? I, so this was actually my great grandfather's when he passed away a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Everyone got something, and like I just had I never took it out of the box either. And I don't know anything about coins or. I mean, they're ninety percent silver. Okay, these coins. <sighs> Different. I, obviously, they follow here by the year, year by year. But to be honest with you, every one of them is worth about two bucks, okay. <laughs> average. Now it's nice here because, and they're you know obviously used and circulated. These yeah. are not like you know pristine coins by any means. Um, some of them are even in pretty bad shape here, you know? Although here it jumps quite a few years here, 1918, then 1924. Okay, probably all pretty old, huh? So it ends at 1964. That's when they become from 90%. Okay. They go into 40% for another five years. Okay. And then in 1971, Nixon puts a complete kibosh on it and no more silver and coins. <laughs> so. So um, is, that, is that all of them there? Well, no, I think this ends a lot earlier here. I think the last one here, you got 1937. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's just a cool collection because they also put like um, a, stamp? a stamp with it, a little story. So yeah. let me see if I can find like the okay. same kind of yeah. album. The only other two things I have is I got them for Christmas presents. I never used them. One is like the, the food sealer thing. It's, it's still in the box. And okay. then it's... It's brand new, but it's a vintage record DVD. You know, it's got not DVD, uh, like a music player, but it's supposed to look vintage, but it's brand new. Bring it in, I'll check yeah, it out. It's supposed to, it yeah. Was, yeah. Okay. I, I opened the box, but I never used it. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing I have. Okay. Yeah. So I guess it all depends how many there are in there. I guess he bought this maybe. Yeah, I mean, it has, has the this set. packaging on it, so. And then you f collect individual ones. There's that's why there's some years missing one. You know, oh, you, okay. you you collect one by one, and then you have sleeves oh, that you, you put more. them in. So he was like collecting different years. You know, like I, you can see, I never even touched it. it has a dust on it still. Yeah. Literally, this. I mean, that's like, for like, example, there, that was there's some address. that sold here, and they list from what year they start and what year uh, they end. So okay. like this one sold for 40 bucks yeah. and it's got about 25 of them in there. Mm -hmm. This one is roughly the same, 20 of them in there. And so is this one. And the spread is, well, this one is saying something. It's got a, like a little note on it. Let's see, what does that mean? Picture says here, no, 
number 14. I don't know what that means, but me either. <laughs> I figured if anyone would know yeah. better than you would know better than me. I don't know any of this stuff. I mean, obviously there is a market for it. Not huge money here. Because yeah. like I told you, you know, even if you got like 20 of them here yeah. and two bucks, a two bucks, about, 40 yeah. bucks. And that's what they're roughly going right. for. You got a little bit extra because they put it in a nice yeah, stamp. Somebody told me that they thought the stamp was worth more than the coin, but I don't know anything about that stuff. You know, it, it all depends too on a, on the stamp. Okay. Uh, and if this is a legit stamp that was issued by U.S. or is it issued by somebody else? You know what I mean. So it's yeah, like a, like this one looks legit. It says USA, but it says thirty seven cents. So that's a something recent, not a stamp from back in the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, yeah. That one's two cents. This six. one's six cents. And the other one was two. So. I have no idea. I can offer you 20 bucks. About half what they're going for. You know what I mean? Sure. So, and then this. That was just a Christmas present. We already had one. And I never even opened oh, it. Oh, it's one of those that you put the thing through. It yeah. seals your bags. Automatic full vacuum cleaner. Okay, this one. Let's see. So new sealed, we got one for forty-nine dollars, one for fifty-seven. Okay. Here's one for twenty-five. So new sixty-seven. Here's twenty-five. Kind of all over the place. I'm thinking average is probably about fifty. I can offer you like half, twenty-five bucks on that. Okay. And this is the Victrola. I get them yeah. here quite often, actually. Yeah. Um, it's nice. The problem is, I, it's too big, you know, yeah. like for the house. I don't have a spot for it. And this is like the newest one too. The, it, that they it, make it them is. with the Bluetooth, yeah. and and you have a remote control. I get them from like '80s, '90s, early 2000s. Yeah. And this is the redone one. I know. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a repop. <sighs> Do I even want this? I figured. Like, I don't sell any stuff online. I figured you guys probably sell stuff, and maybe it would sell online. I'm gonna take a quick look, see if, because in a shop here it's kind of hit and miss for something like that. Sure. If I can and maybe. I know it takes up shelf space, so. Uh, aviator eight in one. Okay. Kind of all over the place. Yeah. Because look, here's one. Here's one that sold for hundred uh, eight in one, so it's the same yeah, one. Right. Hundred bucks, ninety four bucks, then this one went for nine forty one, then this one went for fifty. Then you got another one for like 119. And then I don't know why this one went for that much. You know, so kind of yeah. all over the place. And then you got 89. I'm thinking roughly average is probably about 100. Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. So from me on something like this, 50 bucks. All right, so 50, so, 25, and 20. Would you do that? So you got 95 bucks. Works? Works for me. You make some money. Yeah. Now, I see there's. Is it actually been used or? No, I just took it out of the box. Okay. Yeah. You, okay. Here, if you open up right here, I put the. I see still a remote in there, sealed cable. Yeah. yeah so it, open this up right here though, and then I don't want to scratch it. This is I never even took yeah, this. Yeah, I see everything is yeah. brand new still. I didn't even touch that. Okay. Because I don't even have any records at the house, so. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So it's all in there. I put a, I put batteries in the remote. You did. Yeah. Okay. It, it came with it, you know, sealed. I put them in there. Gotcha. All right. I do need your ID. I'll write you up. For okay. No. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. Okay. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. You know, it's tricky. Sometimes you'll never know. You'll find a piece or two that are actually sterling. Most of the stuff that we get here yeah. is just plated. You know, the patina is right because it's usually pretty good heavy plate and it looks like silver. Yeah. But most of the pieces are, are plated, like this one. It's plated? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, here we go. I there's other little doodads in here. I just throw them all in the same bag. Too light to be gold. Yeah, it's probably gold plated. I'm gonna test it really quick just to make sure. Oh, so, right. yeah, I don't know. That was kind of the oddball in the mix. Going through old stuff from you know grandmas and moms and right. stuff like that. And this. I have more out. Like, Some of them track. clearly say on the back silver plate. Yeah. You can, you know, well, read it. I, I didn't bother yeah. with my magnifying glass this time. There's quite a few of them that are the same. But... The wire guy. I think you can uh, have a free cells. 
I think these are almost. Do they really? I think so. I'll have to check it out. At least years ago, I think they did. We're not making yeah, anything about the head. It's not looking too good so far. No. Why don't you go get a piece or two out of that box? A spoon or fork or a spoon and fork and a knife or whatever. Take care guys. Yep. Have a good one, thank you. Yeah. Man, oh man, oh man, I don't think we have anything here. And these are just kind of collectible, commodative little spoons. They're just in, <coughs> in with all the rest of the crap, so they threw them in the same bag. I guess it's an oldie here. This looks a little wrinkled. <laughs> <laughs> Seen a better day? <laughs> yeah. I can't even make out what it's on it. But all the green acceleration. Oxidation on it tells me that uh, most likely not. So let me test this little guy. Okay. To see if we got anything here potentially. These are all the same thing it says on the back. This is well, I didn't read them, I just. Stainless. Oh, that's stainless. Okay, well. Stainless. So look. Oh, these are stainless. I put a oh, little them. notch in there yep. and put a little bit of acid that to tell me, you know, what purity this might Drink be if it's gold. But it's bubbling all green. That tells me there's some kind of different metal copper underneath, like something. a copper sink, you know. Yeah. So too bad because you know if um, this was gold, you probably had about two thousand dollars here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but, um, so well, sorry guys, that's we okay. got nothing here. You know, I mean. People still buy this and you said the name if it's silver plated, but they want like complete sets, you know, right. because I they can that. still put right. it to the use. I the way it sits, that you got eight forks, here. three this, four this, yeah. five, you know, yeah. it's almost and impossible. The other stuff to turned out, I didn't even look at it, I just thought it was silver where it's stainless. So. Yeah. 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 yeah, To the scrap man. <laughs> yes. That's all you got right here now. So. Well, stain, even stainless steel is a little better than it used to be. It's around yeah. half a buck a pound. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thank you for your time. You're very welcome. I appreciate it. No problem. No problem. You never know, you know. So it just no. all okay. it takes a couple nice pieces and you got a few bucks, you know. So. Yeah. Yep. All righty. Well, have a good day. Thank you. You too, guys. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh, you're so good today. She's actually purring. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.